What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna to take a look at a biometric gun safe that can be wall mounted. And while this gun safe does use a biometric fingerprint to open it, there are two more options. One is a four button keypad, and the second option is a key. And this gun safe is from a company called 2A for Life. And in full disclosure, this gun safe was provided for free for a thoughtful and honest review. So we're gonna unbox the safe, see what it comes with, we'll go over all the features, and then we're gonna wall mount it. And we're gonna use the side mount option. But don't worry if you don't know what that means, because I'll show you in a couple minutes. And then of course, we'll review the product. So with this safe, you get your instructions. It includes mounting instructions, how to install the battery, how to set up the keypad passcode, how to set up the biometric fingerprint scanner, and various other features. Here's a plastic bag of hardware and a 9 volt battery, a tiny Phillips head screwdriver, some Phillips head screws, and some keys. Now let's take a look at the biometric gun safe. And wow, this thing is heavy and solid. It feels very durable, which means it should last for a long time. And I like the black color. And towards the front of the safe, at the top, there's a four button keypad and the keyhole. And this back plate is the mounting bracket. We have to remove this bracket and then mount this bracket to the wall and then attach the gun safe to the mounting bracket. And this is the keyhole to open the door. This is the fingerprint scanner and the four buttons around it are the keypad. And at the bottom of the safe is a pad with a spring, kind of like a shock absorber. So when the door swings open, it hits that and it won't slam. First, we'll install the nine volt battery and set up the keypad and the fingerprint scanner and then we'll mount it. And then test and review. And like I said before, the mounting screws with the small Phillips head screwdriver and the nine volt battery and the keys. So to open the safe for the first time, you'll need to use the provided key. And once you open the safe, you wanna hide these keys somewhere, just not in the safe. <laughs> okay, once you open the safe, let's install the nine volt battery. And it installs right here. So once you open the battery compartment, slide the nine volt battery in, press down and close the door. And the default passcode is 1234. Go ahead and try it. And the door comes open quickly. You can see the inside is cushioned with foam and should fit most handguns. And we'll be testing it with a 9mm and a 380. To set up your passcode, press and hold the learn button for two seconds. You'll hear a beep and the lights will be green. Now enter your new code. And the new code needs to be between four and eight numbers. Next, hold down the learn button for two seconds. At this point, the red keyboard light will be on, and then retype in your code to confirm the code. It's that easy. Now let's try out the new code. And it works, no problems. And they're really impressed with the amount of space inside the safe. Lots of room. Now let's go ahead and set up the fingerprint scanner. Simply press the learn button and release it. Green light will be on. Put your finger on the fingerprint scanner, raise your finger, and put it back down. And one more time, put your finger on the fingerprint scanner, at this point, it'll flash four times and beep. And you should be good to go. Then you're gonna wanna test it out. And just a heads up, you can hold the learn button down for five seconds, and this will clear the passcode and your fingerprint. It's kinda like a factory reset. And there is a mute button as well. Hold it down for two seconds, and all sounds will be muted. Hold it down for two seconds again, and you'll have sound again. Now let's go ahead and mount the safe to the wall. And here's our location where we're gonna mount the safe. Behind my nightstand. And like I said before, we're gonna side mount this safe. This allows the safe to be hidden behind the nightstand, but very accessible in case of emergency. So first thing, when you're gonna mount the safe to the wall, 
make sure at least two of the screws are in studs. The other two can be in wall anchors. That should provide plenty of strength. And this is our mounting location. And we'll use a simple stud finder to find the stud. And just a heads up, I know I didn't show removing the mounting bracket from the safe, but you'll need a long Phillips head screwdriver to remove all three screws. Or an extended bit like this for your drill. And you'll have to open the safe to access those screws. Next, mark the hole location for the first hole, the top left bracket hole. For my situation, the top left and the bottom left hole will go into studs. The top right and bottom right will go into wall anchors. Next, use the mounting bracket as a template and mark all four holes with a pencil. For a secure fit, I recommend using longer screws and anchors like these. So now drill your first hole into the stud. For all four holes, I used a small drill bit. You can always widen the hole if you need to. And guys, don't forget, if you like what you see, give a thumbs up and share it. And of course, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. And if you want to visit our Patreon page, you can donate as little as $2 a month to help keep our channel alive. Now secure the mounting bracket to the wall with the four screws. Make sure they're very tight. All right, we're all good. Like I said before, these two are in studs and these two are in wall anchors. The majority of the strength comes from these two screws and the studs. However, this does add stability and strength to this uh, bracket. But as you can see, it ain't going anywhere. All right, you can see this is the safe. So you can go ahead and just try it out and see how it fits. So now mount the safe onto the bracket. The two hooks on the mounting bracket will go into the slots on the safe. There we go. It's nicely. And we can go ahead and just try this out real quick. And good to go. Obviously you can see we need to mount this to the bracket from the inside here. And these three, three screws will mount inside to the bracket so this won't move around at all. We don't want this moving, it's, it's kind of dangerous if you have a weapon in here. And then um, but also we're going to add the stopper at the bottom, right here, we'll add our stopper to it. We had to remove the stopper in order to get the bracket out and everything, and also in order to get these screws into here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then I'll put the stopper in, and then we're going to test out the safe. So guys, if I had any complaint about this safe, it would be this process right here. Trying to work inside the safe with this tiny Phillips head screwdriver is quite difficult. I don't know if you can see this, but it's difficult to get back there to get the screws in. But once you get them in, it's not going to go anywhere. So I got one in. Just getting the screw in there is tough. The hand's too big. Can't see what you're doing. It's maybe the hardest part of this install. So I had a long, skinny screwdriver, a Phillips head, and it was able to fit through the slot on the right side of the safe. However, it wasn't long enough by about an inch. If it was long enough, this would have been way easier. So maybe 2A4 Life could pack a long, maybe six inch skinny Phillips head screwdriver. Would make it much easier. I gotta admit, these are tough to put in. So uh, be patient. And then you want these pretty good and tight. It's not gonna move. Just make sure they're all tight. Damn. Going anywhere. All right. Now let's go ahead and put it up. Test it real quick. That's it. Now, I'm missing the stopper. I'm gonna put that on real quick and then it'll, when it comes down, it will make that loud slamming sound. All right. Now attach the spring and the pad to the safe. Then we're done. Now we'll try it out with two different handguns. First, my SIG P250. It's a subcompact. It's still pretty heavy though. And you can see lots of room in the safe. It fits well. 
and we'll open it with the fingerprint. And I'm definitely glad I reattached the spring pad, otherwise it'd be pretty loud. So far it works well with the SIG. Let's try my wife's handgun, a Smith & Wesson 380. It's a little smaller and a little lighter. And it fits nicely as well. And for this we'll use the code to open it. And once again it's very easy to access. So now it's time to review the safe. Let's start with the pros. Right off the bat I like the look of the safe. It's rugged and well built. When mounted it feels very solid. One of the best parts about this safe is the door opens quickly no matter which way you access it. And really the best way to access this safe is with a fingerprint, especially at night and when you're in a hurry, if you know what I mean. And I really like the inside of the safe. It's got plenty of room, and with all the foam, your handgun won't move around and get scratched by the metal. This gun safe should hold a large 9mm, or even a 45, and will easily hold smaller pistols. Now let's talk about a few issues I have with the safe. First, installing this safe is not easy. If this safe came with a long skinny Phillips head screwdriver, maybe about 6 or 7 inches long, it would have made a huge difference. And it would be nice if this gun safe could store more than one fingerprint and more than one passcode. And one more thing, when the door opens, well it's pretty loud. And that can be concerning if you're trying to access it silently. Because in the middle of the night, when it's super quiet, somebody's going to hear that noise. But that being said, the pros definitely outweigh the cons. The size of this safe allows for multiple mounting options, which is great. So guys and gals, if you're looking for a mountable gun safe for your handgun, this safe could be right for you. And we definitely recommend it. And the price and the product link will be in the description below. And this is a newer product than 2A4 Life. And they have a similar mountable gun safe on their website, but that gun safe does not have biometric capabilities. And that safe is around $149. So this gun safe will be around the same price or maybe a little more expensive. And if you don't feel like you want to mount a gun safe, you can check out our other review of the 2A4 Life biometric safe. It's quite a bit larger and holds multiple handguns or valuables. And the link will be right here. And that safe retails for $169. So guys and gals, we're all done here. If you're looking for a mountable gun safe for your pistol or handgun, we absolutely recommend this gun safe. And once again, if you have any questions about this safe, leave them in the comments below. And guys, I want to encourage you to visit my Patreon page, where $2 a month helps keep this channel going. And guys, remember, if you like this video, give a thumbs up and share it. If you love it, hit subscribe to keep this channel alive. Thank you again for watching. I really appreciate it. Have a great day.